chilly evenings, cooler days, or just a cold apartment. Here are five great cocktails served hot using the master of mixes. Today's cocktails are the spiced sangria, we have an Irish mochaccino, chai tea old fashioned, mango cider, and the peach tranquility. Our first hot cocktail, the spiced sangria. We start off with some spiced rum, one and a half ounces of spiced rum, and just half an ounce of Amaro. Here again, we're using the herbal and, uh, and root liqueur. Then we're reaching for the red sangria. What is wonderful about the Master of Mixes red sangria is that there are six different juices in here. Not only do we have the uh, orange, lemon, and lime juices, however, what makes this great for heating up is the cherry juice, pomegranate juice, and grape juice in the red sangria mix. I had this in the microwave for just a, a minute and a half, two minutes or so, and I'm just pouring it over top of the spirits. Fill that glass up. Now another fun thing to do, orange, just a couple of slices of orange, just dropped in like that, and one on the side. So there it is, nice and simple, just three ingredients going into the spiced sangria. Drink number two of our hot cocktails. This is the Irish Mochaccino. It's inspired by the Irish coffee. Starting off with one and a half ounces of Irish whiskey. Very good. And now, over in this extra glass here, I'm going to take some powdered hot chocolate and mix it with some espresso mix, just like you would. Just follow the ingredients on the, uh, on the packaging. We'll stir this up, make sure it's nice and mixed in, and I'm just going to drop this into the microwave. Here we go. So now that's all heated up. We've got the mochaccino mixture. Just half an ounce of mint syrup right on top of that. Uh, Irish whiskey. So this was in the microwave for a minute and a half, maybe two minutes. And I'm just pouring that great hot espresso mix and hot chocolate. And I heated up some milk as well. This is just half and half cream. I heated that up again for about a minute and a half. And I just want to pour this over top, pouring it down the side of that spoon, making a great layer on top, looks gorgeous. Now I just have some regular chocolate bars. This makes all my drinks just a little greater. All right, if you can excuse the bad puns, there is the Irish Mochaccino. Here's cocktail number three when we're trying to warm up around the fire. Here it is. We're just doing a riff on an old fashioned. Starting off with two ounces of bourbon or a rye whiskey. And we're just going to pour it right in the glass because this is a hot cocktail. Master of Mixes, old fashioned mix. This is orange juice, cherry juice, and real Angostura bitters. And I'm going to match the bourbon with two ounces of that Master of Mixes, old fashioned mix. Great cocktail all by itself, however, I want to take some warm chai tea. Here we go, we've got two ounces of chai tea. There it is. The chai tea works so well with bourbon and the old fashioned mix because of the cinnamon and cardamom flavors. There's ginger and uh, clove in here. Here's a fun play on our orange. I'm taking a whole slice of orange this time and drawing it into quarters. So, we'll just drop those right inside the drink. We've got the fresh juices, plus the essential oils that will work their way out of the rind there. Fun little garnish right on top of the chai tea, old fashioned. 
Here comes cocktail number four. This cocktail would be absolutely perfect on a cool evening, just about any time of year, as we've got all kinds of great, fun, spicy ingredients. Here's spiced rum, ounce and a half of spiced rum, and cinnamon whiskey. Just half an ounce of cinnamon whiskey. Master of Mixes Mango Daiquiri Margarita Mixer. What are we doing putting that in another cocktail? Because it's a great fruit flavor with uh, mango from India, and cane sugar, two ounces of that. Goes so great with the spiced rum and then cinnamon whiskey. And apple juice. Here comes four ounces of apple juice. If I was to make this drink uh, with ice, I might just put two ounces of apple juice. This is the mango cider, and to uh, make that apple juice a little more cidery, I'm adding some of the master of mixes, lemon juice. This is a single pressing of lemon juice, so really that means that we get the lemons from California, and they slice them open, and they press the juice out of that lemon just once, never concentrated. Let's get this into the microwave. We'll heat it up, and we'll be right back. Hope you didn't miss me for the minute and a half that I was gone heating this up. There is a hot mango cider. I have a fresh lemon for the edge here. Here it is, the mango cider. This is cocktail number four of Hot Cocktail. Drink number five on our list of hot cocktails today, peach tranquility. <laughs> Starting off with some vodka, just an ounce of vodka. If you wanted to use a peach vodka or a flavored vodka, you can go right ahead. Today I'm just using regular original vodka. And half an ounce of elderflower. Here's that sweet elderflower liqueur. And master of mixes, peach syrup. Here is a great blend of peaches and cane sugar. One ounce of that in this great squeezy bottle. So easy to use, and I can just clip it closed. Now before I add the tea, this is a Cajun spice. I have just a little bit of Cajun spice here. Brings a little bit of heat to the drink. I just wanna add that in. Here's a peach tea. Nice and warm. Very good. It's gonna dissolve into those spices and get all those sugars mixing together. And it looks great. All right. I'm just going to pour this right into a coupe glass, which seems like it might be a little odd for a hot drink in a coupe glass, but once this cools off, I can actually use my hands to keep that warm or to use it to keep my hands warm. Kind of like a snifter glass. And last but not least, I have a great big slice of orange here that I'll just drop. There it is. So there's five really fun recipes that you can make hot cocktails with the Master of Mixes products. And don't forget, you can actually make those into cold cocktails too. The versatility of Master of Mixes, juices and syrups, and the mixers alone, absolutely endless in the number of cocktails you can make. If you have a suggestion on what you'd like to see next made into a warm cocktail, let us know in the comment section below.